guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell. And today we are doing something a little bit different for my channel. Many of you have been asking for more fitness content, meal prep ideas, health and fitness type of related content. So today we are gonna do a little bit of meal prepping and more so I'm gonna give you guys some of my best tips on meal prepping. I am not a dietitian. I am not a personal trainer. I have lived a healthy lifestyle since I was 16 years old. I've had experience with health and fitness and have learned a lot about nutrition and food and all of those things. If you clicked on this video because you are wanting a perfect diet meal plan, you've come to the wrong place. If you have come to this channel looking for the best, cleanest ingredients, you've come to the wrong place. I'm all about eating a well-balanced, nutritious, diet, doing the best that you can to put healthy foods into your body. I'm not here to try to show you how to have a perfect diet because in my world, it's like impossible to have a perfect diet. I have been overweight in the past and I did ask if you guys would want to see like my weight loss journey. I was about 40 pounds heavier than what I am right now and I was able to lose that weight and you know, get fit and in shape and meal prepping has changed my life. It's just too difficult for me to make healthy decisions right in that moment. It's easier to grab something that is not healthy for you. So meal prepping to me has been um, a lifesaver when it comes to my health and fitness journey. I'm gonna show you guys just really quickly, obviously my meal prep changes from week to week. I'm gonna share with you a few of my best tips when it comes to meal prepping and kind of go through a little bit of meal prepping with you right here today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down there and join the Glam Fam here on YouTube. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on into this meal prep video. Okay, so First things first, I still have not showered from my morning workout, so excuse the hot mess express that is going on right here. So to start off, I really wanna share with you five tips to making meal prepping easier. Tip number one is to simplify your meals. I always go for more basic type of meals, basic type of foods when I'm meal prepping because it's less time, less energy, and that means I'm more likely to meal prep. If it's something that requires 20 ingredients, then I'm probably not going to take the time to meal prep something like that. My second tip is to not prep all of your meals. Don't think that you have to prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner for five days at a time. In reality, you're really only gonna wanna meal prep like one or two meals a day for like three to four days. That's what I do, that works for me. I like to keep my time to a minimum because I've got a million other things going on in my life. So my second tip is to pick one or two meals for three to four days to meal prep. My third tip is to do online grocery shopping. This has changed my life and it has changed my meal prep game tremendously. I used to loathe the grocery store, I still do, but now I don't actually have to go in and face all of the aisles of food. Now I can find meal prep ideas and meal prep recipes and I can write them down and then go on the Walmart, Kroger, whatever grocery store you use, order my groceries, show up, pick them up or have them delivered to your house however you want to do it and it makes life so simple and it also helps me save money because i'm not ordering things that i don't need like i would if i went in the grocery store and start seeing everything and i just start throwing things in my cart just mindlessly my fourth tip is to be practical i do practical meal prep i am not going to spend hours on hours on hours making these big, extensive, fancy meals. It's not in my lifestyle. I live a very, very fast paced, busy life. I need to get my meal prep done as quickly as possible. I keep my foods very simple. I don't do recipes that have 20 ingredients in it unless I'm fixing a big dinner for my family or something one night. For my everyday meal prep, I keep it very simple. I use my microwave a lot of the time. I do things that work for me and I keep it very 
practical. And my last tip is gonna be to give yourself grace. Do not get stressed out if you don't get the hang of meal prepping right out the gate. Meal prep does take a little bit of time to get the hang of, but once you get the hang of it and you know how to switch up your foods and make things really quickly, it's actually very, very easy. They say it takes 21 days to break a bad habit or to start a new one. So if you start meal prepping, you know, this coming Monday, then give yourself about three weeks to get the hang of it. And I promise you, it will become a part of your lifestyle and you will in turn be a meal prepping genius. <laughs> and now for the portion of the video where I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for my meal prep for the next few days. I was gonna make like a tuna salad for the next three or four days. Just took out two bags of lettuce, which this is my favorite lettuce, by the way. This is the butter lettuce, it's delicious and both bags are bad, so that makes me so upset. So one of the things that I love to eat because it gives me amazing protein, it's super easy, you can fix it a lot of different ways, is eggs. A lot of times I don't even meal prep this because I'll just scramble a couple of eggs and it takes me literally a couple of minutes to do that, but because my entire family loves eggs, we love boiled eggs, my kids will make boiled egg sandwiches, um, I just love to grab a couple boiled eggs and eat them just as they are, so I will just boil a pot of eggs. So I'm just gonna go fill this up with water and start boiling that on the stove back here. Now that I've got my eggs boiling back there, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my lunch prep. And basically what I normally like to do is I like to prep my breakfast and my lunch. This week I'm gonna go with tuna. I know a lot of people do not like tuna. You can use chicken if you want. You can use whatever you want. Since I do not have any lettuce now, I'm just gonna make the tuna. I'm gonna make this for, you know, about three meals or so. I'm just gonna open it, drain it, and what I like to put in my tuna is a little bit of olive oil mayo, and I also use a little bit of sweet relish. Mix that all up and it's delicious. You can add it to um, a few slices of bread to make a tuna sandwich. You can add it to a wrap to make like a tuna wrap. I like to just eat it just straight by itself. So now my tuna is made, and again, this will last me a couple of days. I am a sweets-aholic. I can eat sweets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is my kryptonite. I try to get as much fruit as I possibly can to get the natural sugars instead of processed sugars. So I love watermelon, grapes, strawberries, basically any type of fruit. I like to prep a bunch of fruit at the beginning of the week because again, my kids absolutely love fruit too. So they love to just be able to get in the refrigerator and grab it and go. I'm gonna cut up a watermelon so that we can have this on hand throughout the week and eat on some watermelon. I also always have apples on hand, stuff that you can just quickly grab. Meal prep does not have to be confusing. It doesn't have to be over complicated. I'm gonna cut up a watermelon right now. When you have things already prepped, you will want to grab those things because they're easy and they're delicious. Usually for one of my meals every single day, I do have some sort of shake. I either have a meal replacement shake or a protein shake. I have been drinking uh, Shakeology for like five years now. I love this. And another shake that I just found that I have fallen in love with is by the Alani New Company. This is not sponsored. They've never reached out to me. They've never sent me any products, but I would love for them to. This is their whey protein fruity cereal protein powder. I do stay away from dairy as much as I possibly can. So I usually get the vegan formula of Shakeology. Now this is whey protein, but I use almond milk in all of my shakes. If 
you are dairy sensitive, then this is obviously not gonna be good for you. I just mix it in with a little bit of ice, with a little bit of almond milk, shake it up, and drink it down, and it literally tastes like fruity pebbles. It's so, so good. I wish I had a discount code for you guys. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my eggs off of the stove, and I will be right back. So there you have it, my super simple meal prep for this coming week for a few days. Uh, for breakfast, I'm gonna do a couple of boiled eggs, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the everything seasoning from Flavor Gods to season it up. It's so good. Also, a little tip, I like to peel my eggs as soon as they're done boiling makes it super easy to peel them the other thing I normally make with this is I may pop in a couple of pieces of turkey bacon into the microwave or sometimes I will do oatmeal like a bowl of oatmeal and then a couple of boiled eggs in the morning and then for lunch I am gonna do tuna this will last me about three servings I may make a sandwich out of it I may make a wrap out of it or I might just eat it just like this it all depends on how I'm feeling that day so for one of my snacks for the day I will do my shake one of these shakes to get my extra protein in and then of course I always have fruit on hand which I will normally have a bowl of fruit when I have my lunch as well super super simple this meal prep actually took me like maybe 20 minutes max there's no excuse to not meal prep when you can get it done this easily so I really hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see more videos like this I can do like a what I eat in a day video or whatever type of health and fitness related videos that you guys want to see and I love you so so much thank you for stopping by my channel and I will see you in my next video peace out